Yes, we survived. We were staying at Chokilamu's homestay. It was peaceful and beautiful at the same time. The previous day, I travelled with my three friends, Annie, Krish and Vicky from Namche to Ralam. Our homestay was at Ralam. We covered a distance of 33 kilometers on our bikes and it took us almost two hours. This is Sintu, our cuddly companion at there. We had a heavy breakfast. The food was good. We ensured to eat sufficiently as next we were heading towards Temiti Garden, which was 37 kilometers from Ralong. The mountains look something different in early hours of the morning. The chirping of the birds, the gustling sound of the waterfalls feels like a sweet tune to the ears. Finally, we reached our destination, Temiti Garden. Temiti Garden is the only tea garden in Sikkim and is considered one of the best in India and in the world. The tea produced here is in great demand in the international market. The surroundings is very beautiful and mesmerizing. One can enjoy a romantic walk through the garden. If the weather is clear, one can enjoy the magnificent views the place has to offer. The young population here loves the game of football and we got a chance to witness a match played between two college teams. We are right now in the middle of a football match. Amazed to see the support and the enthusiasm, rightly said. We were heading towards Buddha Park at Rabangla and stopped at the restaurant to have some quick bites.
The distance between Temiti Garden and Buddha Park is 30 kilometers. It took us around 1 hour 30 minutes to complete the distance on our bikes. The Bhutta Park of Ravangla is also known as Tathagata Stal. The famous attraction of the park is the Buddha statue. The statue is the centerpiece of the park and has a height of 130 feet. The park is an attractive place to see and a must visit place by every traveler. Now we are at Buddha Park of Ravangla. Uh, the weather is still foggy beyond our expectation. Uh, so tomorrow we will visit this park um, once again. Uh, but now we will just roam the park. It is surrounded by lush gardens, peaceful environment. This site is of great spiritual importance and thus even the ambience adds a divine experience to the visitors. There is also a meditation center and a museum where camera is not allowed. The next day we started early and we are heading for Tendang Hill. The condition of the road was really bad as you can see and this is the exact patch of the road where our bikes skidded on the day 2 while heading towards our homestay at Ralang from Namchi for the first time. The roads were wet due to the roadside waterfalls and were very slippery. We passed Buddha Park once again and it falls on the way while traveling to Tendang Hill. What a masterpiece! Wow! We are going to trek the Tendang uh, at the Tendang hilltop, and this is the begin beginning point of that uh, trekking point. So let's start. Tendang Hill is a destination that offers a marvelous view of the valley in city. situated at an altitude of 8530 feet above Dhamma. It is a very famous tourist attraction in the southern part of the city. With serenity and tranquility, Tindang has been the meditation place for Buddhist Lamas. The trek 
passes through plush and thick green vegetation rich in rare flora and wildlife. The Tennang Hill is the highest point in the South Sikkim district. Beautiful monastery and a three-storied watchtower are on the top of this hill. One can climb the watchtower to enjoy the breathtaking views of the entire Sindalina range. The majestic Kanchanjunga peak glitters like gold from here. Though we could not enter the watchtower as it was closed. We are at the top of Tendang Hill, uh, but there is nothing to see as such. But uh, still, if you are a wonder, uh, wanderer, then you can visit this place. And uh, we have to um, go down because uh, the weather is not at all good enough now. And uh, my friends are continuously poking me, so we have <laughs> to go back. And. Uh, uh, we came here after uh, almost 6.5 kilometers. Afrik. Afrik. Still we can see the sunlight from here. So we are lucky enough. Yeah, we <laughs> everyone expected uh, everyone it would expected be dark. It would be dark. Nah, and the, the locals here thought that you know. We went without any trek leader actually yeah. and the locals said without, what without any guide, local yeah, guide. Without any local guide. They were asking you know exorbitant charges, so we decided that let's do it all by ourselves. And yeah, it was fine. You can you guys can, can come here and enjoy. A yeah. small trek if you are in Sikkim, South Sikkim for in time. Thanks. It's around 6.5 kilometers to the top. Okay. Bye now. Down. So, we were done for the day and it was time for us to return to our base. So, we started heading towards our homestay at Ranok. <laughs>